God is my father and because I refer to him as king, he challenged me, well, if you're my daughter, what does that make you? Right. And I said, a princess. And so the song unfolded, and then about two years later, I was challenged um, by my mentor to really think about the fact that there's another story behind this song. Why don't you work on it, pray on it, and see what the Lord gives you? And um, 13, 14 songs later, uh, and this God gave me the story, and Daughter of the King was born. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I always get picked on. That's, <laughs> that's my character. But no. Um, Deanna. She is the youngest, mm-hmm. um, married, uh, was living the happily married life until, you know, she ran into some little marital trouble, mm-hmm. um, finding out that she left a lot behind um, to grab onto this fantasy that just really isn't true. Yeah, yeah. And trying to fill that void that is not there, you know, that's empty trying to feel that and trying to find out how she could feel that so that's pretty much her journey and you're dealing with self-esteem issues as well self-esteem issues definitely trying to make sure that you know was it me can i get back to where i was Mm -hmm. um i don't believe that i can you know and just battling those voices that we hear a lot on a daily basis Mm -hmm. you know um in this sense you know deanna is trying to cast it down, but, you know, it just comes right back in her face, comes back in her face until she actually has that face-to-face encounter and it changes. <laughs> and, uh, Trisha, talk a little bit about uh, immersing yourself into the character because, obviously, that is a, a um, something that you have to do in order to really reflect what the character is going through. Yes, I literally have to become my character, whose name is Renee, <laughs> and... When I'm rehearsing at home with my husband and children. (laughs) So you're Renee at home, too. I'm Renee at home, too. So (laughs) that's just me. Come on, Renee has to run her lines. I have to become her and remain her. Mm -hmm. So it's it's been a great, great process for Mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And Cassandra, Cassandra, when you are... uh, really into your character. Tell me about the process of uh, first walking into rehearsal and what is going through your mind so that you can really, really grasp what your character is going through. Well, I play play the character uh, Ophelia, and she's still trying to find out who she really is. Mm -hmm. So I kind of see me, not the arrogant part. Do not hear what I'm (laughs) saying. Not the arrogant part, but... Trying to discover who you really are and then also being confident. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know who you are in a sense of what, what you've done and your accomplishments. Um, for me, when I step into the, the, the place for rehearsal, I have to become Ophelia. Mm-hmm. And she's one that's not easy to believe anything anybody tells her. There's got to be proof of it. So, so are you taking Ophelia home with you as well? <laughs> I do now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I do now. And I like her. Right. I right. like her. Inspirational twist. Mm-hmm. And so when the audience hear and see what we have put together here, I don't think there's going to be anything to compare it to because it's groundbreaking. Right, right. And, uh, and I, I just had to say that you asked about the theater community. Well, I think we're elevating this to the next level. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and we're letting the audience know that inspirational can can be Broadway style. Mm-hmm. We can bring uh, quality, professional spirituality to theater, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's why I say it's groundbreaking. Someone deciding, well, this could be more than just what it is, mm-hmm. and then you're taking that process and actually putting it all together. And now that you have all the women together and all the, the cast together, yes. talk a little bit about that. That has been amazing for me. I think these ladies will tell you, you know, they, they can look at me at certain points in rehearsal and I just have tears in my eyes. <laughs> I mean, another thing, what is wrong with her? But to actually see it come to life and to see the Lord having brought every person I needed at every step of the way from, from Vicki to each of these women through the auditions to really see it unfolding and to finally have that happen next week on that stage is just, I don't know if I'll be able to contain myself, <laughs> but it, it's, it's an honor, and I'm so humbled that God would, would use me as that vessel to, to, to bring forth that dream. One other question. No. So, ladies, again, are you excited about uh, Daughter of the King? Yes. Oh, I'm so ready. So, are you ready? We are ready. ready. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so okay. much. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Absolutely. All right.